And we're live. Hello, everyone. Happy Christmas Eve to you. Let me see. Hopefully you can hear me. I did not set up my microphone. If I need to, I will do that. Okay. I would just need a hot second to do that. Let me make sure. So you all tell me if I need to set up my microphone. I'll just need a hot second to do that. But it's good to see everyone. Happy Sunday. Happy Christmas Eve. Uh, if you celebrate, don't want to assume. Um, good to see everyone. I wasn't sure what the turnout would be. And I forgot to get my eggnog. So I do have a commercial I'm going to run. So when I run the commercial, I'll zip away really quickly to get my eggnog. I'm going to show you that eggnog is really yummy. Um, let me make sure that. I, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Gunfighter. <laughs> Normally I do have my microphone, but I moved it. I was doing some stuff. Um, my table acts as also my station to do all my gun setup. And so I moved it and I forgot to put it back. So I'm glad you could hear me. Thank you. Um, I just started a poll too, which is probably which was why I was a couple minutes late. If you see it. Oh, Phil Johnson. <laughs> if you see it there, please, please, please do um, participate in the poll. Um, and as you come in, thank you for hitting the like button. It's kind of like a free for all today, okay? I'm feeling kind of relaxed. Um, hope you are all are too. Um, time off from work. Hopefully, you're taking some time off, much needed rest for a crazy year. I'm going to say hello to folks. And I'm going to roll in. You see, I try to be a little bit festive. Oops, this way. Try to be a little festive here. And I'm going to show you my little gingerbread. I, I did a, po a community post on my gingerbread. So I'm not very good at it. Okay. But I did it. <laughs> uh, thanks for everyone for coming in, hitting the like button. I appreciate you. I'm going to say hello to folks. Yeah, let me see here. Um, hopefully, yes. It's been really warm. You know, I'm I'm a northern girl, so I still haven't gotten accustomed to it being warm here in Florida. It still feels weird. I mean, I've accepted it and I've, you know, embraced palm trees with Christmas lights on it. But it's still weird. It was like 70-something today. Um, but I will not complain. <laughs> I just miss like when you when when there's the snow days and you don't have to work and so people kind of just hanging out and you, you're playing hooky like there's no work today when people did go into the office I miss that time not so much the black ice though not so much of that um let me say hello to folks coming in thank you so much let me put this up here really quickly it does help me help me stay on I made a slight change to my little scrolling thing. If you're reading this, okay, thanks for hitting the like button. If you didn't, it's like, oh, shoot, let me hit that. I appreciate it. As you all know, it helps us in this space. Thank you for doing that. I'll let that scroll and say hello to folks. I'm curious what you all are getting into also. Like, you know, you're cooking anything fun. See my little tree? Oh, I'm going to show that to you in a second. Thanks, G-Webs, first, fifth, fifth, fifth popping in. I did have my Red Bull today, okay? So I shouldn't stumble with my words, but don't hold me to it. <laughs> don't hold me to it. Hi, Time Machine. Good to see you. David, hello. Season's greetings. Merry holidays, all that stuff, whatever's appropriate. If I say Merry Christmas and you don't like that, you know what I mean. And if you like it, Merry Christmas to you. Good evening. Hi, Mike. Good to see you. AG. G23. Hello. Thanks for popping in. Gunfighter. Yes. Bill Johnson. You changed your name. You're funny. Good to see you. Daniel. <laughs> I'm not sure what that means. Uh, Viejo. Good to see you. Viejo. Club 49. Good to see you. Thank you so much. Always good to see you. Keith Gregory, hello. We're just gonna like hang out a little bit and ask some questions. 
Um, thanks for participating in the poll. I have my own bright ideas, okay? But I really want to make sure that I factor in all that you all would like to see from the channel, things that you did like, things that you would like me to do more of. Sorry, my nose running. Things that you like to like, like, like me to do less of. At random times, my nose just runs, okay? I, I don't know what to tell you. Um, so pardon me when I do that. I'm going to get a sheet fires handkerchief, though, <laughs> and carry it with me. Um, yeah, things that I that you enjoyed from the channel, things that hmm, I don't really like that so much. Even with the lives, I've been experimenting with different things. Hi, Kenny Loves Guns. Good to see you. I didn't mean to have that up as I went on my little rant. Thanks for being here. I've been experimenting and trying different things. If you were with me last week, I was doing some news segments um, of people behaving badly at um, gun ranges. And we went through the, like the four gun safety tips and I showed examples of that. So if you missed that, that's what we're, that's what I'm talking about. Um, if you did participate in the live and were active, really want to see if you enjoyed that. I like talking about stuff and then giving examples of what that is and getting your input so that it kind of sinks in. Um, that's, I'm the, that kind of learner, like you explain something and then look okay, at show me an example. It, examples are always good, right? So um, hopefully you enjoyed that. I do want to do that more, okay? So you'll see that in 2024. <laughs> Hello, Mike. Good to see you. Virginia Bridge Crafter, yes. It's cold here, it's cold here. Sipping a scotch. How cozy is that? I don't have a fireplace, but it's like it's now is the time to have a fireplace, right? And some I don't know, a warm drink, something to warm your your uh, your throat um, as it's, as it slides down. Um, back to work on the twentieth. Okay, wait, January twentieth. That would be fantastic. January twentieth. Hi, Dave Kennedy. Good to see you. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Dave Kennedy, we, he's, he was one that, he was the um, local Tampa person who won the On the Range of She Fires. Was it this year or last year? Everything's a blur. I think it was last year. <laughs> um, with an instructor. At the time, I was not an instructor. So we had an instructor. Um, and we had like a little on the day on the range training. It was really fun. It was nice. It was good. Um, more training for me next year, more instructor training for me next year, for sure. That's what I want to get, kind of get into like, what, what did you do? What did you say you wanted to do for 2023 that you did not get to do? And is it on your list for 2024? That's the question. No pressure, no pressure. I don't like new year's resolutions, but you have to have goals in life, right? Things that you look forward to, but if you don't reach it, still have it on your list, you know, make some adjustments, see what, what it was. It didn't work and, um, continue working on, on reaching that goal. Give yourself grace. Things happen, but if it's something it was on your list for a reason, right? It was a goal for a reason. I just saw that. Hi, six bows. Six bows is back. Good to see you lady. Good to see you until the fifth. Anytime that's that's January, fill in the blank is a good time to be off, right? It doesn't matter. Why is that tactical? Good to see you. Why is that tactical? Did you get the, the stream light? I had a couple undelivered notifications for your location. It wasn't me, but something's not right. So if you didn't get it, we got to talk. Um, why is that tactical? One, the stream light, pin light giveaway that I had a couple lives ago. I thought I had one here, but I don't. Um, and yes, uh, he and also uh, T and Goddess both won a stream light of their choosing. They had different colors too, it was really nice. Um, the Prepared Irishman, good to see you. Welcome in, welcome. Miss Misty Wayne, speaking of winner of the giveaway, <laughs> if you missed it or you, you were there, um, um, and unfortunately didn't win. Um, we will be doing a lot more giveaways in the new year. I'll be talking about one that's going to be in January. Um, if you see the little logo on the top 
whatever corner this this corner yeah sorry this right here <laughs> um we'll talk about that for a little bit but exciting news exciting things are upon us in the new year um good to see you misty misty wayne uh she won the cnh optic uh the red dot optic a couple of lives ago so thank you for participating in that D-Man 120, good to see you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Yes. Oh, okay, you're saying hello. Okay, yes, no more snow days. They don't do, they don't do snow days anymore. What? What? <laughs> they don't? See, I'm so out of touch. I don't even know when it gets cold anymore. I don't know when it gets cold. I don't know when it gets hot. I, I don't know when seasons change anymore. I mean, you live in Florida, it's, it's just constant. You know, there's some there's some variations, but it's pretty the same. <laughs> That's so funny. They don't do snow days. Come on now. Can't hurt yourself. Yes, thank you to we stand. Thank you, thank you. Um, if you're part of the Patreon, I did do a little um montage, um, uh, just some picture collage. I'm gonna share that with you all on the live today too, just as some things that happened throughout the year, like the little highlights. Um, I'm gonna do another one more of like a video collage, no slideshow. Um I'm still working on that. It takes a little bit longer to do those because you want to pick the best parts of the live um, of those videos that, that I've done over 2023. And I, I would like to get some comments from you all, those comments that really inspired me to keep going, things that you enjoyed. I know I show a lot of different firearms and other non-related firearms, hence the poll. And so your comments are awesome. And I want to recognize those. And I um, hope to recognize those in 2024 also, those um, folks who are subscribers, who are actively subscribed to my channel, um, recognizing you kind of like at the end of the year um, or, and thanking you for your support um, and just being active and all, all of that. You know, I can't do this alone. So I want to make sure that I'm not just showing like the cool things that I do and like and share with share on the channel, but the the reciprocity um, of the fireside community. So I'll be I'll do a better job of documenting comments in 2024 so that at the end of the year I have a compilation. So be I won't say be careful what you say, but you know, those that stand out. I definitely will have in the end of end of 2024 review. Okay, just as a heads up on that, because um, y'all are awesome, and I want those individuals to stand out. Um, yes, uh, it's going to be really difficult. If I leave anybody out in advance, I'm sorry. Okay, but I'm I'm going to do my best to capture that. Um, <laughs> Tread life, good to see you. Tread life, I am trying to get in touch with you. Okay, you won the targets and you have not provided your information, so I can send it to you. Okay, I'm not going to stalk you, but I need your address and didn't know where you want me to send it. Or remember, I mentioned last week, I think it was, I said, okay, if Tread life doesn't show up, I'm going to have to, what do you call it? Re spin. Um, so yes, if you would like that, please, please, please reach out to me. I I couldn't find your email address, so I I was making comments in your at least two separate times in your in your videos. So let me know. Hi, Ron Wayne. Good to see you. Welcome in. Sorry if I'm going on tangents. This is the way my brain works. Um, good evening. Hello. Merry Christmas and happy new year i will be going live next week i know it's new year's eve um i won't say i'm old because i know people who are my age and older do go out and have fun but i I'm, i just kind of chill at home i don't really do a whole lot um so i'll be around if you are around it'll be about it'll be this time anyway so as you're getting dressed and getting fancy uh you know maybe you'll have me in the background keeping you company whatever 
Um, hi, ATM Tim. <laughs> Good to see you. Uh, would love to see your name pop in. Okay. I think I said hello to folks. I will be making some formatting changes. I did say share that previously. I just want to make it really efficient when, when what I do. Um, a good topic one day is to have is do I stay or should I bug out? Oh, that's good. Okay. Mm-hmm. We like that. That's good. Yes, more training. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna ask. I I, I want to get your feedback on what, what your plans are for the new year. I did not do as much training as I wanted to. I think that's always the case, but I really didn't. But I, I it's on my list. Hi, a fatal paper cut. Good to see you. Welcome in. Great. Great tea and goddess. Thank you so much. Yeah. I don't know. Amazon in certain pockets, they were really fast. In the other cases, they were kind of slow, um, but they are working hard. So no offense to them in, in any capacity at all. Uh, hi, Clyde. Good to see you. Durham NC. Is it cool there? Is it cool? <laughs> my goal is to finish, uh, my goal for 2024, finish Gunsmith School. Very good. Yes, get your FFL and uh, spot this up shop. Awesome. That's a, that's a bunch of stuff. That's good. Good. Okay, so I will be looking for your update next year okay that all those things were taken care of you put it out there in the universe now <laughs> um or that you're on the on the track to do that you know every um was it a journey of a thousand miles starts with one step i'm surprised i remember that honestly <laughs> i want to go tier one red dot site instructor course oh okay yes nice nice i took a red dot class um, with an instructor over the summertime, because I may have exp um, shared it with you when I first started training in general. Um, I only learned with iron sights, so there is a learning curve going from iron sights to the optic. And as of right now, I, I like iron sights, and I know that I have to kind of move my way that way because my eyes are, you know not 20 anymore. So they never really, really super great, but they were, they were decent. Um, but I, I know that in time, over time, the optic and the green dot specifically is better. So I, that's, that's my goal to work on. And I may have to take another like red dot class. I, I don't know, but, um, you know, identifying a, an area of improvement and focusing on that whatever that might be. I like to call it area of improvement, not I suck at this, not that, not that, just. <laughs> uh, thank you, Miss Miss Misty Wayne. I always stumble saying that, Miss Misty Wayne. Yes, please can be posted. Florida goes from human to less humid, I know it. Oh, Lord. Um, high liquidity, li liquid profanity. You see how I messed that up there? Good to see you. You commented recently. I hadn't seen you for a hot minute because your name is cool. Good to see you. <laughs> Mr. Baker, good to see you. Thanks for popping in. I appreciate it. Mr. Baker is uh, part of my dojo. My dojo. You all know I take self-defense. Hopefully next year. It's cutting really, really close. It might be, it might roll into 2025, honestly, but don't, Mr. Baker, don't say, don't, don't tell, don't tell, <laughs> don't tell the instructors, but whew, I have planned to, uh, what was the right, right word, elevate, and I'm on the right track to getting my black belt, um, but it was, October-ish, I think, is the that the testing time frame. Um, as of right now, I'm not feeling too confident. So it, it could roll into the new the, the 2020 25. But I'm not stopping. But yeah. When you get to those higher levels, you gotta feel really good about it. And the way that they 
the way that they practice and, you know, you get attacked from a certain way, front, back, whatever angle, and being able to respond quickly um, is what makes me nervous. So I've got a year. <laughs> I've got a year before um, I start sweating, I'll just say, but I'm excited. I'm excited. When I first started on my martial arts journey, I did not intend to um, seek my black belt, but it just kind of happened. There's going to be a firearm show in Chantilly in December. Okay. Hmm. I may let my mom know. Just so she can walk around and that she's comfortable with it. Well, I don't say comfortable, but she enjoyed me going with her. So she, you know, she just got to lay of the land. <laughs> oh. Yes. I do love the iron sights. I do love them. I like the suppressor height ones too. I don't know. Maybe that helps me see better. Do they help? Do you help the suppressor height sights help you see better than the regular standard ones? I don't know. Hi, Ken Patterson. Good to see you. Good to see you. Ken Patterson's from my Instagram world. Appreciate you popping over. <laughs> Thank you for being here. Oh, I miss Chad Kelly. Hi, Chad Kelly. Good to see you. I saw you pop up here. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, Mr. Baker. All right. Um, I need you not to tell Satoshi what I said, okay? That's between you and I and everyone in the chat. Don't tell them. <laughs> oh, gosh. I just said that. Oh, boy. Yes. Um, in and out of chat. No problem. I know people are going to be kind of hanging out. Um, I'm going to share with you the uh, the compilation video. Well, not a, it, it's a slideshow, but they're just still pictures um, of my 2023. And um, hopefully I'll be ready for next week. If you miss it, it'll be, I, I don't know if I'll make it private or not. I got to think about that. Um because it's just a compilation of my 2023, everything that I, I kind of did and everyone um, that I kind of met, that's what I'm hoping to share. I'm still working on that. Oh, God. It's a process. Uh, <laughs> don't think, just do it. I know. I know. Never forget. Gunfighting is a martial art. That's the truth. I, I do see a lot of variations, a lot of, uh, sorry, similarities in the benefit of even operating, you know, a firearm, but just the extra benefit learning martial arts has been for me anyway. I do have a little baton. Yes, I do. I keep it in my vehicle, actually, but I do have one. It's like this, but then it you can whack it and it extends all the way out. Um, so I kind of keep it close. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Baker, please. It's between you and I. Um, yes. Thank you. Okay. I love it. Yeah. If anyone has done martial arts, you know, love to know your perspective on that. Hello, Elena. Good to see you popping in. Appreciate it. All right, so I'm going to share with you. I had that dang on thing scrolling there the whole time. Okay, let me let me share some news. I have news now, but I, I have news in the new year also. Okay, so if you see the little cute little guy up there, little gingerbread, let me first show you my little gingerbread. I did a community post where I showed the box of what the gingerbread is supposed to look like. <laughs> um and i'll show you mine would love to know like do you have it's it's a tr tradition that i like to do with um my girls um if when they're around but um of all the things is you know when you're little you buy gifts and you do all that stuff but as they get older it's not as exciting um but still, you know, you get together, you want to do things. And so we made little gingerbread houses and I'll share this one. 
Please God, don't fall. Ah. <laughs> Our little gingerbread house. Let me share. Uh, mm. Okay, I call myself with the little lights, the lights to the roof there. Mm. It's it's whatever. It was something to do together. So yeah, it's it's kind of piddly in the back. Don't look at that part. But I like individually putting the little little dots on here. Of course, I got this from Target. If you're familiar, if you've seen this before, this is what the Target had. <laughs> $12 for some fun. So, yes. That's what I did there. What what do you do? Especially as the, the kiddos get older and, you, you know, there's no Santa waking up in the middle of the night at 12 o'clock or whatever to bite a piece of the cookie for the on, the on the Santa plate and drinking some milk. Like, those days are over. So, what what traditions do you have now? Or do you still do? Especially if you have younger children, minor, older. Not as old, but older. <laughs> what do you do? I love it. Baton. Are they illegal in Virginia? Okay, yeah. So I share being in Florida. If I ever move, I'm only moving to a state that allows me to have all the firearms and and self-defense tools that I need. Um, I didn't realize that. Virginia seemed like it was, hmm. When, I'm not going to finish my sentence, but when we went to the gun show, when I went with my mom, all that she needed to do was present her, she had her concealed carry. She has a concealed carry permit. Um, but they only asked for her driver's license. So I thought that was and she, you know, she was able to get her firearm on the spot. So I thought that was a little bit different. If you don't present your permit. And that's not how Florida is. Like, you have to present it before they'll let you, like, walk away with it. Um, which is the beauty of having the permit. You don't have to wait three, five business days, whatever. Especially if there's a weekend and a holiday in there. Forget about it. Like, I want to be able to buy, purchase my firearm on the spot at any time. I feel the urge to buy a firearm, hmm, I'm gonna go, you know, and get one, like buying a pair of shoes. Um, that's what it feels like sometimes, but <laughs> um, I'm very surprised at that, the baton. Yeah, that's why it's important to read. I put my book away. I had my book, my uh, Florida Firearms and Self-Defense book, and I'm sure that there are uh, other state-specific firearm books out there that i mean it's like this i won't say it's easy reading but it does cover some of those other types of self-defense tools and here batons are included um uh, pe pepper spray we can have uh, i call it a zapper i know it's not a zapper a taser um there's certain things that we can carry with us um a knife, you know, things like that, that we can carry. And that's why if I ever moved out of Florida, I would only want to move to another state that has all those things that are permissible. Because once, especially once you're used to it and then you, you don't have it, it's like, mm, mm, no bueno, no thank you. Yeah. Um, there's a leg layup. I know. You know, Christmas Story is on right now, right? Then it started, oh, it starts at 8. I know it runs like 24 hours. I think it starts at 8 p.m. Um, yeah, no, no. I'm actually trying to get rid of stuff. So that's the other reason why I love the gingerbread houses because you do it, you take a couple pictures, you let it sit and sit for a couple of days. You love the gingerbread smell, which is fantastic. And, you know, all the senses. Um, but then it gets tossed. I'm in a declutter phase so uh, we used to make, make wreaths go to marshall's and get all the stuff to make the, the christmas wreaths um to put on the door or to put wherever make ornaments which ornaments are so cool um but those wreaths you, you can't store them they get all beat up and after a while so this is easy okay if you're looking for some ease this is it <laughs> that is it that's funny. 
Oh, you can rent this out. I, yeah, I, I believe you. I've, I believe you. I've seen some of those YouTube videos of people, how they, how they live in sharing ooh, bathrooms with strangers and such. Like, no, thank you. No, thank you. But depends on the quality of life that you want to have. No, no judgment here. Maybe if I were a young person, I would have, I would do the same thing. Um, hi, Rich White. Good to see you. Welcome. Welcome in. Welcome in. <laughs> That's very funny. Yes. Okay. I will tell you that they do have a Briar's ice cream that is lactose free. The vanilla, it tastes just like the same as the regular. It's really, really yummy. If you're looking for one, definitely. Sorry about that. It's fairly tasty. It tastes normal. Normal. Um, the Briars. Yes. Pick that up. With some nice, like, brownies. Hot brownie. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> I think most people. You watch the um, Christmas story every year? I've seen it a zillion times because it would just stay on the whole 24 hours playing in the background. Um, yeah. That's just part of what you do for Christmas time, maybe. And I also watch, you know, like Elf and um, Bad Santa. Um, one of my favorites, though, is uh, Four Christmases. I love that movie with... Um, with Vince Vaughn. I think he's a crazy guy anyway. I love a lot of his movies, but um, him and uh, Reese Witherspoon, it's cute. It's very cute. Could be, could be because it's relatable. I know with crazy family members. Could be it, but ho hopefully my mom's not in here watching. <laughs> That's funny. I had a Christmas story. Oh, yeah. Well, I did all that, too. Christmas wrapping paper. Mm-hmm. That's funny. I know I skipped some people. Sorry, I'm going to try to roll scroll down. I keep my the, the door shut here to my office. So with the candle and then the gingerbread, it's probably what's making my nose run. Yes. PHA's laws. Last year, oh, last year, July. Wow. Okay. That's a lot, Virginia Bush Crafter. Hmm. Hmm. See, this is what I have an issue with, honestly, because for people who are not comfortable yet with a firearm, you have to give them other options. Is pepper spray allowable? Like, that's not cool. I don't know. Like, it's, we are in the firearm space, yes, but we have to be realistic, especially people who are not comfortable with a firearm just yet and getting kind of comfortable, like just starting wearing, like carrying or keeping a, a knife with them, you know, like, oh, okay, I can carry, I won't stab myself in my pocket. Um, you know, it's, for some people, it's a progression. And then like, okay, I've been doing, I've been, I have my pepper spray. I'm, I, I think I'm good. I think I'm open now to try a firearm. Like, you know, you want to have some other ways to protect yourself. For a hot minute, I had, um, before, before the firearm, I kept like a baseball bat in my car, but I was told to kid, I couldn't have that. It's like, oh, thank goodness nothing happened to me because, or, you know, I never got into a situation. I couldn't have that. Okay. All right. Well, at least that's good. At least that's good. Cause honestly, that's what I got my mom. From. <laughs> I got her that too for, for uh, her birthday had passed. She does a lot of traveling and they have Sabre has the little travel ones that are in the little case. I wish I had it to show you. Um, that's TSA compliant, depending on what you're traveling to. So you pack it and wherever you're traveling to, as long as it's permissible. Um, 
they have that. So I got her some of that. You know, when you become a no longer working <laughs> class, um, retired, you, you do a lot of traveling and, you know, you want to make sure that even when you're traveling and that you are protecting yourself. I have not yet traveled with my firearm. I hope to. Maybe I will in 2024. But I've heard it's fine, you know, just getting over that initial hump that first time. Oh, it makes me a little bit nervous. Either driving or flying. It just makes me nervous. But I'm sure once I get over that hump, it'll be fine. It's just that initial thing. Like, is someone going to take it? Like, you know, and how things have to be. That might be a, uh, might be a future live talking about that. I asked, oh, shoot, I can't. I asked my AI device if I say her name, she'll respond. I forgot to mute it. Um, what were some of the top questions that uh, were asked of Google? And it was that traveling with a firearm. So I said, hmm, I still need to do that. So that might be a nice conversation to kind of talk about. And then once I do it, sharing it with you all. <laughs> um, any feedback on any um, advice on that, I would greatly appreciate it. You know, I'm in Florida. So if I were to go to Vegas, for instance, like how I would travel like that. I saw some Christmas stories, uh, some movies here. Die Hard. Yes. Oh, I love Bruce Willis. I just I love that movie. Yes. The, n n nothing on that. Just you you remember certain movies in a certain way and then you think about present day and that person that you remember young active like doing all that and um now with him sick i just look at it differently but i do love that movie i guess this was a lot of things i look back like oh certain movies i loved and think about the actor or actress in it and i guess that's part of life but Miracle on 34th Street. Yes, 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 yes. Good one. Scrooge with the Bill Murray. I love that movie. That little, the, the one that was the, the fairy with the high-pitched voice. She was so funny to me. I forgot her name. Carol? Carol something. Carol Kane, maybe? Here in Tennessee, I love self-defense and gun laws. Yes, yes, yes. That was on the hit list. That was on the short list. Definitely. Look at you two always saying, making, making statements. <laughs> nope. Agreed. For some reason, the holidays are not a happy time. For some. You're right. Yes. You're absolutely right, DJ. Look at you popping in here. Did I just miss you earlier? Thank you. I'll leave that up for a hot second. Thank you for sharing that. I'll say that for 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 um this comment also. Um, when my girls started going to like their dad's house and I was here, you know, when you split holidays, I don't know if you have experienced that. Um, and when your little ones go and you're home alone, pretty much. Um, it takes a little bit of like adjustment and you kind of like, it's quiet I'm by myself and you know, all the other commotions going on outside or other people's houses. And it's just like quiet. I can see, I could see that. Um, and I have probably had moments like that to be honest, but, um, I'm older, <laughs> maybe not anymore. I'll say that. Not anymore. That uh, empty nest uh, feeling I have, you know, I think that I started so early. I'm now at a point like I just want to like do whatever, do whatever. Um, but thank you for sharing that, DJ Play Nice, for anyone who might need it for sure. Childhood arms, not bad. Just kind of, I know. I hope to in the new year. We'll see what happens. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, I was just carrying just a bat. It was, and it was early on. If you watch some of my earlier videos, don't watch them. But if you watch some of my earlier videos, um, I laid out some of my self-defense tools and that was one of them. And later I got the, yeah, you don't want to keep your, just a bat in your car like that. Um, so that's when I went to getting the, the right proper self-defense tools, like the baton. I picked it up at a gun show, for instance, and some other stuff. I may share. I did go, when I went to the gun show, maybe like two months ago, I picked up a bunch of different self-defense tools. I'm not sure if I can share it on the channel as a live. That's my only concern. I may do it as a video and just kind of show the different types of self-defense uh, tools that are available. Um, check your local state for proper regulations and, and laws, of course, but just to share some other things that are out there. Thank you, DJ Play Nice. You as well. I'm going to take a hot second. I'm going to share this with you. Okay. What time is it? 647. Um, no time like the present because you know I'll forget. Let me share this little montage. I I think it's like two minutes, maybe one and a half, something like that. Um, and then I'll talk about the cross armory. Um, actually, I don't want to lose people. Maybe I'll talk about cross armory now. Because I know people are in and out. So I'll do that really quickly. Let me just go here. Yes. Okay. So... I know I kind of hinted about it some for a couple lives, but I just, I've been working behind the scenes like a busy little bee, busy little bee. One of the things I've been bringing some different options to the channel and doing giveaways. And one of the brands, one of the um, companies, Cross Armory, if you watched my very recent, actually last two, um, shorts, the one that just did with the purple um, accessories, Prince inspired. I switched out my Glock 19 uh, Gen 5. Um, I had red accessories on. That's one of the. That's the first Glock they had ever owned, and so it's been as it is. It's, I've got a compensator on there, um, but just recently, I have partnered officially with Cross Armory. So. Um, Starting in the new year, they will be um, an official uh, sponsor for the channel, at least for the short term. Um, very excited to partner with, with them uh, for 2024, at least the start of 24, and hope that that does continue. This is a, a new relationship, but I wanted to, I sought them out and I wanted to work with them specifically because. I wanted to um, show not just, they do a lot of videos that are rifle focused and um, a lot of male, um, a lot of guys are in the videos, I'll just say it like that. So I wanted to offer another option for them to promote their products and uh, focus a lot. You know, I, I like compact firearms. And so I wanted to share, I can help bring more visibility to some of the parts that you have that support uh, handguns. They do have for, have for rifles too. I'm more heavily focused with the, the handguns, at least right now. I do plan to get involved with the rifles. Um, but just right now, in the color variations and the other options, they have optics. I'll share that on the channel. Um, and so I really wanted to highlight it's a small business. Um, they're actually based in uh, California. So they have a lot of CA compliant um, accessories also. So it's probably even more so I wanted to as restrictive as that state is, um, help promote their products because their products are, are, are awesome. Um, mag releases, magwells, um, they've got uh, trigger kits. Um, 
they are rolling out some optics. Like I said, they've got other rifle parts also. So you'll see some of those um, on the channel. And the color variations, I usually don't get into, you know, a lot of different colors, but with the Glock, you can't really do a whole lot. Okay. So if you saw that video, it was red. They were red accessories. Um, and now I switched it out to the purple, but with the Glock, you can't make a lot, you know, your barrel changes. You can't do a whole lot really with those types of, they're, they are what they are. And I wanted to actually keep it that way. I like to keep the Glock as it is. Um, but with me getting more in with the daggers, I love the daggers. Um, I shared that too. It's just a great price point. Um, and then the accessories, it's just customizable. And Cross Armory does support or provide accessories for daggers as well, blocks, like a whole line. I may show you just the website just to scan through it. But I only wanted to just throw it out there. It'll be more of official um, announcement um, in the new year, because I know this is a, a holiday chat. Um, but I, I wanted to kind of share that with you that that will be coming onto the channel. So um, with the new relationship, we will we'll be doing um, a giveaway as a launch of the partnership. And they've also, also activated um, a code for here, she fires right there, uh, for 10% off of their products. So I wanted to kind of throw it out there, especially since they are running some other specials too. So maybe you could take advantage of double dipping. Um, but like I said, it's going to be more official in the new year. But I wanted to give you a sneak peek. I already shared it with the Patreon community. I don't know if they had a chance to see that. Um, I try to give them a sneak peek of some of the things that are going on before it's launched to the greater community. Um, so... I'm excited about it. If you're familiar with Cross Armory, if you're unfamiliar with Cross Armory, uh, I will be sharing more in the new year, uh, more to come on that. But they're great and very good customer service, responsiveness, all of that. And the, those things matter in um, having partnerships. And I definitely had a, a request, a strong request to please um, extend something, especially for folks who are unfamiliar with Cross Armory, we wanna do a giveaway. And um, we'll talk about that uh, probably not next week because I know it's a, another weird holiday, but the following uh, live, I'll talk more about that, okay? So just a little heads up of what's to come. And another announcement I'll have next week also um, on the heels um, of December 31st, rolling into January 1st, um, some more things that will be uh, shared. So I hope that, that you all would be interested in that, excited about that. If you like accessorizing your firearms, um, this is why. I partner with them. And there's so many larger companies out there that get a lot of attention, but there are smaller, small businesses that have excellent products that don't get the same attention and visibility. And so that's why I wanted to um, work with them. And I do seek those out also. I do love the big brands, you know. I love all my SIGs and all, all that stuff, all those things. But I think it's important to have a fair balance that I can share with uh, you. And that's why I had that poll question out there. Forgot now my tablet died. Um, what you would like to see more of, guns and gear, uh, more self-safety, self-defense tips. You know, I've kind of been interchanging between uh, guns and non-gun related safety tips, if that is of interest to you. Um, and then news, we did little news segments last week um, as examples to the four um, firearm safety rules. And um, if you're interested in those types of things, I, I want to know what you would like me to bring to the channel. You're coming hanging out with me, right? So let it let me help make it worth your while even if you can't stay the whole time like you're popping in saying hello all those things but if you can get something out of 
the conversation, I definitely want to explore that and see how I can do that in these lives and even in my videos. I know I've been slacking with my videos, my, my full long form videos. Um, hope that will change in the new year, but I still try to keep active with my shorts. So thank you for everyone who does comment on those. Um, but I digress. <laughs> Let me share now. Let me see if there's anyone else. Let's see. And does that make sense? Am I, am I making sense? Let me rephrase. Am I making sense? I do love, you know, I got my little starter rifle, my MMP Sport 2 that I will be practicing with more and more. So you will still see, I will still be bringing rifles to the channel um, more. I'm, I'm just kind of off balance uh, right now. Yes. Thank you, Time Machine. Thank you. Yeah, D-Man, about the Berna, I've seen them at gun shows. I haven't purchased one yet. Um, yes, it would be a good option. I looked at it. It was just really expensive to me. And maybe it's supposed to be. Um, so I just looked at some other more um, cost-effective options. But it would be nice to have one of those. Um just trying to see how I would use something like that. Would it be like to de deter the, the wild animals here in Florida? You know, um, I I'd have to, it has to make sense in my head on when I would use something like that. So, yes. Um, after my daughter went to college, we got home, looked at each other, said, no, it, yeah, exactly. I know we're going back, but like, what do we do? <laughs> but it is nice having some quiet time. Mm -hmm. Let me go back up here and see what y'all are saying. I know I, I kind of went off on a, a tangent again. No, do not, uh, Bill Johnson. No. No. Yeah. I hadn't thought about that, but not at this time. Yes. Let's not forget about the this Christmas. You're so silly. Um, write a Dangerfield quote. Oh, I must have missed that. Daniel, God is my judge. This is my first year with the holidays. Yes. It'll get, I promise you, it'll get better. But it, it is, it is an adjustment. It is. It just is quiet and you try to fill your time with, with other things or you just got to not and go through it. But I understand completely. <laughs> um, mm, mm, mm. No, 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 you got cast. I don't, I don't think so. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Um, I appreciate that though. Time machine. Six bows. Thank you, Vejo. Have a wonderful um, Christmas and hope to see you, if not uh, next live, but in the new year. I'll see you next year. <laughs> yeah, I love you. No. Yeah, no, thank you. Mm -mm. Hi, EJM. Good to see you. No, nope, no worries at all. Never late. Always on time whenever you pop in. Legion size with G20, G19. What is that, Bill Johnson? You know my eyes are bad, okay? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta spell it out plainly for me. Um, I like my pistols, but dang, rifles are... Yes. PRS rifle <laughs> agrees with my statement. Yes, Chad Kelly. You're so funny. Hopefully you you wrapped up your 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 uh, match year successfully. Yes, absolutely, Miss Six Six Bows Six Bows Six Bows has six girls. Whew. Um, 
I'm at the website now. Yeah, check it out. Check it out. If you see anything, have any questions, I'll do my best to answer and I can reach out to them also on anything. Even if it's not available, if we can put it on the hit list because my goal is to also give them feedback on what people are asking for that they don't have, okay? I touched on that, right? Yes, 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 okay. All the parts, yes. So if you see any of my dagger videos on the channel, um, thank you, AKA Gunsmith mentioned that, uh, yeah, they're all cross armory. 99% of the parts on the, the daggers are from cross armory. So we were using them before the relationship established. Reloading. Um, yeah, reloading. There's a lot of folks in here who are interested in the reloading. Maybe one day for me, but there's a lot of folks in here right now. If you have any questions, they can immediately answer them for you. Immediately. <laughs> Hi, GA Trucker. Thank you so much for popping in. Yes, be careful in Jacksonville. Jackson, Jacksonville? Yes. Um, have a wonderful time. Be present. Enjoy. Be careful. I'll see you soon. Yeah, we're just kind of shooting the breeze. Um, let me share this while I know people are popping in and out. Let me just close this up really quickly. I just wanted to show you this before. Hi, Silas Vlog. You are new here. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for being here. Um, uh oh. Okay, let me share this. I want to make sure things are popped down. Okay. Before. Yeah, there we go. Dang it. Okay. Sorry. You know how I am. Okay. So go over here. I'm going to share this little video with you. And how long is it? Okay, yes. I will take a brief intermission as you watch this, okay? Let me know what you think.
again. What'd you think? Okay, it took a lot of time to put it together. Okay, let me show you. Oh, Lord. It took a little bit of time. But what did you think? Um, I do plan to do like a, a video version of that with some different pictures being out and about. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed that. I wanted to kind of put something together just to show my appreciation for everyone. You all helped me get to this place, okay? You helped me get or have a successful 2023. And I look forward to giving back more in 2024. Um, and it's from your engagement with the channel that allows me to do that. You see, I left some of my, my tree. Everything's all moved around. Sorry about that. But um, I think it looks different. <laughs> I just wanted to put something together just to show my appreciation. And, you know, sometimes it's good to reflect to see what you did all year. You know, like sometimes we look back and said, did I do anything productive? And it was nice to reminisce a lot happens in the 365 days. So I uh, I want to thank you all for helping me. It's been awesome. It's been fun. It's been scary. All those things going live is not for the faint of heart. Whew. Um, and you kind of put yourself out there. But um, you all have been great and supportive. <laughs> you made the you made it it's not easy but you made it a little bit easier um going live i hope i'm better than the first time i hit the live button but at the end of the day i'm gonna be me because i'm just a character but um i hope that you enjoy coming and hanging out and that you will join me in 2024. I know a lot of people are not going to um, be around next week. So I did want to take this opportunity to share that um, and say thank you. Um, you can be any other place, but you even if you pop in for five minutes, I appreciate it very, very much. And um, hope to do more in 2024. You'll come along, see the growth. In all ways, in all ways. Thank you, D-Man. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. I know people are popping out. 7.09. I was only honestly going to be off for like an hour because I know people were doing stuff. So um, I did want to ask. I did have some things. Let's see. Let me make sure that I'm caught up in the comments first before I ask the questions. Yeah, see? Reload. There's a lot of folks in here to do the reloading. Bless you all. I'm sure it's fun, though. I'm sure it's fun. But <laughs> Whew. just everything that goes, all the things you need, like everything. Um, sometimes I watch like Viejo, for example, like this, all the stuff that. And it's it's a big it's a big deal. It's a big deal. It takes talent for sure. Awesome. Thank you, Chad Kelly, getting in to connect it with David, answering, asking questions. So that was, oh, from Indonesia. Yay. Welcome. I love it when folks come in from outside the, the U.S. borders. Appreciate you being here, coming in virtually. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Always welcome. Please do. Always pop in if you have a moment to say hello. You're part of the fireside community now. We got we got we have international uh, friends in here. All are welcome. All are welcome. Yes, gun websites for sure. Hope to see you in January. Definitely hope to see you in January. <laughs> I will say, aside from like you know, I love your pug, um, mushroom burrito. When I met. Uh, G Webs for the very first time. If you follow him, he does never, it's never on camera. Um, some people just are not on camera, but we were going to uh, a range day in Las Vegas. This was last year for a shot show, 
and I was talking, I think I was talking to the Chris 740, someone, I was talking over here, so my head was turned, and all I heard was a voice. And it was like, hey, she fires or something like that. I was like, oh my gosh, I know that voice. <laughs> it's like, you do exist. It's you. Um, I don't know if I ever told you that, G-Webs, if you're still on here, but I thought that was funny. I was like, I know that voice. I was like, oh. um, so that was funny. That was cool. Especially when you see the, the faceless uh, YouTube channels. Um, it's just funny. It was a surreal moment. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for the feedback. Oh, Fade of Purple Cut. Yes. So good question. One time it was DJ Play Nice. This very last time was DJ Play Nice. But I gave away one previously to our tech, our tech daughters, four daughters. I forgot how to say his. Um, yeah, those two. There might have been someone before that too. Mantis has been an amazing sponsor of the uh, channel. So I think I gave away at least three since I started my channel. Um, but the last two were those. Uh, DJ Play Nice and Artac Daughters. Yes. You'll see them again, though, a fader print book cut. You will see them again. Thank you, D-Man. Appreciate that. As everyone participated in the poll, please do. As you leave, please just want to get some feedback on that. Um, and please don't forget to hit the like button. I appreciate it. You know that helps us. Let me make sure. Yeah, we're going to be wrapping up here in a hot second. <laughs> yes, it's just it's that simple. I know that kind of just kind of fell into place, and I love it. It is that simple. Is my shirt here? Yeah, my shirt's over there. Um, let me get some more made up because they're fun. And it has my She Fires um, logo on the back, um, which I love, too. So. Oh, you're talking about that. Okay. Nope, you're good. Sorry. That's awesome. Well, hang out with us. You will pick things up. Okay. <laughs> please do. Please do. That's funny. I love it. What was that? Sorry. You guys are talking. Good. Love it. A fatal purple cut. Congratulations. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, as I mentioned, I do plan to do a giveaway of a cross armory item as I formally officially launch um the partnership in the new year. But you all are getting a sneak peek. If you're hanging out here, you know, for folks who are traveling or hanging out with family, um, or they're catching their, their replay, um, I'm throwing it out there now, but it'll be more official. Um respectfully to Cross Armory in the new year when we will officially begin. Hello, Charles. Good to see you. Merry Christmas to you and your family. All that jazz. Yes. Thank you for popping in. We are closing up here in a hot second. Okay. I did want to ask for folks who are still hanging out. So, um, we're talking about the, how, talking about the end of the year. Um, did you, let me make sure I get my words right. Did you get what you wanted? Let me just summarize it. Um, did you do what you wanted to do? Or did you get what you wanted to in 2023? And if you didn't, is it on your list for 2024? And if it's something that you can share with us, what was that? Oh my gosh, it makes me think of Pee Wee Herman. Is there something you'd like to share with the rest of the class? Amazing Larry. It was Amazing Larry. I can't remember. Um, anyone who knows that? <laughs> <laughs> um, if there's anything that you want, you would like to share that's appropriate to share, um, what did you get in 2023 that was your thing that you were most excited about or that was the top thing that you got? It could be gun related or non-gun related. Did you get really what you wanted out of 2023? For the most part, you know, some of our lists are really long. We got to be realistic, but. Was there anything specifically that stands out to you? Um, 
for me, non-gun, I mean, gun-related, I was really impressed by the success of the daggers. Very surprised by that. Um, if I look back, and I might have it in my compilation, but that one was the top performing um, of most of my shorts and my long form, the dagger. So I was very surprised at that, especially because it's a Glock clone. It's not, you know, the traditional brands that people typically um, think of. And it really did help bring me a lot of subscribers. Um, so I'm happy about that. And I think non-gun related. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I have to think about that. I think just me in general getting out, um, and it's probably related to like being live. Um, I did Toastmasters a really long time ago, but speaking, public speaking is, is really challenging. Um, it's okay to be, you know, like a comedian and being a jokester, but being able to convey your message in the timely fashion and the appropriate way where it's delivered and it, it makes an impression, um, that takes skill. And I'm glad that I started going live with you guys because I've worked on being more concise. Still have ways to go, I know. But um, just how I communicate and what I want to communicate with you and the research that I do behind the scenes. Um, I've, I've been sharpening some other skills, some interpersonal skills that um, I didn't really pay attention to when I first started going live. But I'm very excited about that. So um, what about you guys? What about you all out there? What are you saying? Chat Kelly. Not yet. Hoping to hit 1,000 subs. Still short. Less than 100 away. All right. Chad Kelly. Chad Kelly does a lot of, um, well, lately. I know you do a lot of other things, but um, you're really into the matches and sharing your experiences, how you prepare for them, um, and then the feedback, the adjustments you make post-match um, competition. So if you guys are interested in that, that's definitely um, a channel to uh, to check out and support support him, and he's a nice guy too. <laughs> and he's a nice guy too. Very um, uh, forthcoming with information, and like I like his channel too. Like I don't do matches really, but I still, you know, watch and, and share because you make it simple for non-match folks. That might be on my hit list for the new year. Match uh, one one match competition. We'll see. I got what I wanted. I'm still alive. Thankful for that. Ain't that truth? Ain't that the truth, Mike White? I agree. I know. I think, especially as you get older, it's. I just want to be healthy. I just want to have peace. I don't want things to stress me out. Like I try to protect and, and, and have certain things. Like I'm not going to be bothered by that. Where I may have been bothered by that before, I'm not going to let that bother me. You know? And even with goals that you might have, like giving yourself grace. I say that often because we're hardest on ourselves and we're no one, we're not in competition with anybody. You know, and we shouldn't even be in competition with ourselves because that's when we give ourselves a hard time. You know, we just want to be better than we were yesterday. Sometimes you take one step forward. Sometimes you take 10 steps forward. But um, be kind to yourself. And especially now, you know, if you have family and children and obligations and things like that, your mental health matters. Your physical health matters above all things. I think sometimes we forget that. Like, if we don't have our health, mental or physical, we're not good to anybody. We're, we're, we're no good to ourselves or to anyone. So focusing on things that keep you kind of chill and zen, knowing when, okay, I'm getting little, you know, when your, your, your shoulders start getting high close to your ears, like, knowing how to respond and relax, breathe, meditate, 
take a walk, go to your favorite place. You know, the indoor books, the, the bookstore is one of my favorite places to go indoors. Just the knowledge. I posted that picture not too long ago. A lot of people were like, yes, yes, yes. Love the bookstore. Just sitting in that space is so peaceful. Um, I love going to the bookstore. Even if I don't have to buy anything, I might like flip through. Um, they've got a coffee shop and I just sit there. And it does change your mood. So knowing what your happy place is and sometimes forcing yourself, like, I'm not feeling good. And saying, okay, let me go out. I don't even encourage, like, going for a drive because you get, get distracted. And, you know, you don't want an accident to happen. Like, go someplace where you can be still and zen out. My favorite outdoor place when I can get there is like the beach, not going in the water, but just sitting by it. There's something about the, the water rushing up. Whatever your happy place is, we all get stressed out, especially now the holidays. We all get stressed out. I don't say all of us. Some of us like, I'm not going to let anything stress me out. Okay, good. Yes, I wish I had that ability. Um, but knowing when I'm getting a little on edge, let me relax. And knowing what those things are that help you relax is important. And not feeling guilty about it. I need five minutes, kid, mom, dad, whoever it might be, fill in the blank. I need a minute. And allowing yourself to have that. Because if you're not around for them to bug you in the next minute, <laughs> you're not good to anybody. So. Holidays always make me reflect to relax. I love my dagger. Sorry for that, but uh, I felt the need to say that. Hopefully it spoke to someone out there. Um, the dagger's awesome. Yes. You'll see more on that, G-Baby, on the channel. I'm glad that you enjoy it just as much as I do, though. What'd you get? I got a new car. A new car? Oh, a newer car. <laughs> The way you said that versus a new car, a gun, new car, moving to a new place. Yes, need more guns. Oh, you, you got a new place, so you need more guns to fill spaces. Do you have guns strategically placed inside your home? People say you should do that. I'm just saying. That's so funny. I love that. Hi, Chicago Mike. Good to see you. Welcome in. I don't know if you heard my little rant, my little, I won't say rant, my little tangent. Great. Good to see you. Thanks for popping in. We're closing out here in the hot second. I don't think I can do it here, but I'll try. No, what are you trying to uh, drop, Chad Kelly? Maybe I can assist. Be kind to others who are kind to you. Yes. And even sometimes... You know, in Florida, we have a lot of older individuals, even if they're crotchety, okay, which sometimes they are, like, I give them grace too. You know why? Because they've been around for a really long time. I feel like they deserve a certain amount of respect, even if they're grumpy. There might be a reason why they're grumpy. And they've, they've just seen so much and they've experienced so much. There's a lot to, to learn from them. And they've seen a lot of change. And, you know, our brains don't process as fast as they used to be when we were younger. Our bodies don't move as fast. And so they're in the midst of this whirlwind of crazy life, technology, and all those things. I try to be really patient with them. I know some people are like, get off the road and, you know, all that stuff and walking and all that. But I just, I, that's going to be us one day. You want people treating us badly? You want to be treated badly? I try to keep that in mind. What are you saying here? Sorry, the course here. I'm not sure what that means, sis, Silas, vlog. Um, yeah, Chad Kelly, let me know what you would like to do. If, uh... <laughs> thanks, Laura Tag. I'm sure he means no harm, but yes, yes, please. Um, no worries. 
Um, I got a dagger with the RMR cut for the hollow sun, red dot to go on. Also Chevy 4x4 truck color blue, blue. Blue is my favorite color, surprisingly, considering my channel's red, but blue is my favorite color. Gideon Mediator from a Foxtrot Mike 8R9. So life is good. Awesome. That's a lot of stuff. That's very good. It's a lot of stuff. And you got a hollow sun. Okay. Mm-hmm. Is it just the um the the black uh dagger slide? What'd you get? What's the name of the channel? Um two wave space stand, are you in here? Can you see? Um can you help with uh Chad Kelly? I think he's trying to drop something. Yes. Very good. Very good. Ah, uh, no worries. No worries. You are welcome. It's, it's fine. Um, it was just a gentle reminder, you know, a little soft touch. <laughs> uh, sure do have them throughout. Yes. Yeah. That's what they say. Chocolate, I will have to ask someone else to assist. You know, I cannot multitask. I might close out the live if I do it right now. Um, yes. Be sure you're you call your mom tonight. Oh, you're funny. I know. I <laughs> you're right. I have communicated with her today, but only through text. Um, I definitely will talk with her tomorrow though. Mm-hmm. Very good, very good. Thank you. No worries, no worries. Um, hi, Ozzy Osbourne. I always say Ozzy Osbourne. Hello, Ozzy Orsborne. Am I saying it correctly? Appreciate you. We're about closing out, but you're never late. Popping in with two minutes to spare. I appreciate everyone for um, popping in. And I will be live next week. If you're around, popping in, getting yourself ready for um, New Year's Eve. And if you're going out, please be safe. Even tomorrow. What's the other reason why I don't like, you know, I like staying home because drinking and driving, not me, other people. I, I just get concerned about it. And my eyes are not what they used to be. So hanging out late at night. So I will be around. If you will be around, if you could pop in for a hot second, we'd love to see you. And we will talk next week don't uh eat too much uh, or do um keep yourself safe appreciate everyone for being here if i do not see you next week for the live um have a safe um, holiday um happy new year i'm sure i'll catch you in a comment or a post whatever it might be um and again i, I appreciate all of your support y'all are awesome um hello just in the nick of time cowboy muse Good to see you. <laughs> Thanks for popping in. Always welcome. Always welcome. Um, hope to catch you next week if you are able to. Gerald Cagney, I just saw your name also. Yes, that sniper green. Can't beat it. Sorry, I can't. You can't beat it. Um, and I have the she fires red and gray um, for the channel. Channel inspired uh, color and. Um, Check that out. If you have any questions on the daggers, if you have any questions on cross armory, um, again, you can use She Fires uh, code for any products. If you check out their site, I will do a, um, a reveal, not a reveal, but a mention next uh, in the new year. And we'll be going to SHOT Show. I've mentioned it before. Um, so I will be bringing a lot back to the channel. I appreciate everyone participating in the poll because the polls, your responses help me prepare for SHOT Show, okay? And how I will position myself talking to gun brands and such. So I appreciate everyone. Please be safe. I got my little eggnog here. I don't know if a G Webs is still in here. If you could see, got my little pug on here. <laughs> oh, got my little show. Um, 
with my eggnog. That Southern Comfort eggnog is fantastic. Okay, if you like eggnog, some people do not. Um, if you can get it, they're hard to find, but it's really tasty. There's no alcohol in it. Okay, so yes. <laughs> I know my little, the pug that I had, his name was Yoda. So that's why I love your mushroom burrito. Always close to my heart. Um, I saw that uh, Clover Tech, definitely. I will do that. I will. I will. I appreciate you. And um, you all have a great rest of the night. I will catch you soon. Um, please reach out. If you're watching this on replay, thank you. Please leave a comment. Um, appreciate all the new folks that popped in. I see you, Sis Loss Vlog. Thank you. And you all have a wonderful evening. Stay warm. Stay safe. Thank you. Let me, uh, I pushed the wrong button. This is, this is how I roll, okay? Is, is that it? Yep, that's oh, it. Oh, is that simple? Yep. It's that simple.